how far would you actually go to get that financial independence that everyone wants? Well, what if I told you that you could retire at 40 or even 30? It's called the FIRE movement. It is blowing up right now. So we brought in money smart guy, Matt Sapala. He's here to tell us all about it. Hi, Matt. Good morning, Carly. Thanks Happy for coming New Year. in. Yes. Check out his green outfit, too. This is kind of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I can definitely relate to starting to save for retirement a little bit later. So um, what would you say is the reason that people start off strong but ne never really follow through on their saving strategies? Sure, just like anything else, any commitment, any New Year's resolution, you know, you start off strong. I mean, the worst time to go to a gym is January, February, right? Yeah. But the best time to go is March. Because a lot of people, you know, they, they stick with a commitment and realize, wow, this is work. You know, commitment is, is to, especially to your finances, especially to this type of movement, you've got to be committed, you've got to be disciplined because commitment is sticking with the decision long after the emotion in which you originally made the decision wears off. Okay, so tell us what is the FIRE movement exactly? What does it stand for? FIRE stands for, it's an acronym, Financial Independence Retire Early. Oftentimes people say, you know what, I don't want to work nine to five anymore. I don't want to work 40 hours a week. I want to live my best life now, 30, 35, 40. And this works out best if you start early, but if any of your 30s or 40s, you can still get this done. I like the idea of being able to actually enjoy retirement while your body's still working, while you're still feeling good, you have the energy to travel. Okay, so, but there's different ways to do the FIRE movement as well, right? So tell us about each of those ways. Sure, the, you know, the regular FIRE movement is, you know what, I want to tuck some money away, but I want to go eat out once in a while. I want to hire a plumber. You know, I don't have to bust out the wrenches all the time, but you're still saving money, you're still tucking away, still investing. So you're not having to do everything yourself. You're still living like a pretty good life. Of course, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And the second way is the barista fire, where you pick up a side, side job, so therefore at least your benefits are taken care of, health benefits. Uh, you have a side job doing that. Third one is a frugal fire, where you're really minimizing everything. You've got, you're shacking up with folks, you got roommates, you may not have a car, but you're taking credit cards and converting into points, so therefore things that are normally bought with cash, bought with points. Fourth one is a, a fat fire, especially in a city like Chicago, you, have a, you need a large savings goal, like $2 million, so therefore you can meet the cost of living here in this big city. Okay, so do you suggest that people go to this extreme? 100%. You know, this yeah. is something I was thinking about. I'm 45 years old today, mm -hmm. but this is something I was thinking today? about. Oh, yeah, today? Congratulations. Well, then I think that's it. Well, 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 you know, well you know, this oh. year. <laughs> oh. I thought it was your birthday. I got really excited yeah, yeah, yeah. for a Halloween, second. Halloween, Halloween's my birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. But, uh, but uh, you know, uh, I was thinking about this in my mid 20s, my late 20s. I got out the Marine Corps. I said, you know, it's, you know, life is better. I fought for freedom. Let me get some of the, you know, let me get a piece for myself. So, 100% yeah. advocate for people to do this. Okay. So, it's all about stashing away as much money as you can right now. So, what are the easiest strategies that people can do this right now? So number one would be to minimize expenses and then maximize your savings. An easy piece of software to do that online is mint.com. Because I'm a visual guy, I don't know about you, but I'm a visual person. If I see colors here and colors there, or see where my money's going, because today money's digital. It's so easy to swipe your credit card, and uh, a service like mint.com helps you uh, do that too as well. Okay, so save a lot right now, and then you'll get the rewards later. What right. else? Another one is to, to consider you know, communicating this to friends and family, but at the same time, friends and family aren't necessarily going to support you. Sure. Because you're probably reminding them what they should be doing too as well. And sometimes people say, you know what, this is, this is too crazy, too extreme. So therefore, communicate and communicate often people that are doing it, yeah. uh, they have the same conversation yeah. and languages. And letting them know, like, I can't spend money on this because I have other financial goals, right? That's, that's right. Okay, what else? Third one is to start a business. This is something I did when I was in the military. I started a side business, and after a while, I started meeting and exceeding my full-time income on a part-time basis. And I got involved. I've been doing this now for 20 years. I've been in the insurance industry for 20 years. My, my wife and I, we took 500 bucks, and now today we're making seven figures a year doing it. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's yeah. inspiring. <laughs> okay, what else? The other one would be to consider finding a mentor and finding a way to keep a mentor. So finding a mentor that's doing it, that's implementing it and living the life, not just maybe online. It's something you really have to be in person in a way to keep a mentor. So you know what, let me implement the things you're teaching me to do so therefore you can keep their attention. Cool, and anything else? Last but not least, you gotta really invest in conferences and invest in workshops because life-changing moments don't hip happen on your couch. Life-changing moments don't happen on your existing environment by investing in conferences and surrounding yourself with like-minded people. They'll give you strategies and ideas to make this a reality. And so when you're, you're stashing away all this money, are you just putting it into a regular savings account? Do you suggest investing in another way? Like if we, even if we have an extra like couple hundred dollars, like where do we put it? Yeah, it's gotta be outside of your existing pension or outside your existing 401k because those plans are only used in full retirement when you're 60, 65 years old or after 59 and a half years old. Okay putting money inside a business, investing in a business, or investing in a side liquid account that earns a higher rate of return than what the banks are giving you, okay. is gonna be your best. So like an index fund or something Correct. like that? Correct, Okay, cool. And where do the people go to find those? They can go online, and it's a very simple search. You know, one of the sponsors of my show back in the day was TD Ameritrade, so they have a very good, you know, low cost or no cost 
type of uh, index funds. Very cool. Well, thanks yeah. for breaking this all down for us. Fire movement, guys. And if you want more t um, info on Matt and tips to get your finances in order, be sure to follow his YouTube channel at Money Smart Guy and visit his Oak Brook office for some free workshops. So get out there, learn as much as you can.